Okay, what's up guys? We're gonna be doing a mukbang Q&A and I'm doing this in public and they're playing music so I hope I don't get copyrighted from it and I'm here with my mom Hello. and we're at this place called Takatote I think it's on the cup <laughs> we have like a little bit of food we don't have like a lot because like no we weren't too hungry so we're just trying to get out of the hometown <laughs> yeah that was like the real reason and the lighting's kind of bad and my mom got rice i'm scared that i'm gonna like tip it over this is weird like i'm showing food and then she got beans as well pico de gallo pico de gallo and she like is obsessed with this and she has like cucumbers we're gonna take some and give it to the guinea pigs because they're actually really good they are and then she got limes this is like all green stuff <laughs> and then i have um quesadilla quesadilla <laughs> i don't know what it was called i actually didn't look but um That's i wanted to try it. Like. it looks like onions and um peppers yeah so with like some sauce or something not a sauce but it looks very greasy and then she got salsa with it so i have questions here the first question well, we both can answer questions no, i'm gonna say i don't have questions so i'm gonna grab <laughs> <laughs> okay the first question is holy smokes is that like spicy yeah. your type of spicy that you like yeah that's crazy no. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> How do you feel about the current state of social media right now? Oh my gosh. Dang, you guys are getting deep. Huh? I know, right? Like for me, the, the thing that bothers me about social media is more people that are not living their lives. They're actually out there just recording other people doing things and when people need help and stuff like that. People are quick to pull out phones and stuff like that versus actually helping a person. Yeah. And I know that's not all social media, but I think social media has become a place where you are, you want to be the first one to post and the first one to break news and the first one to have something instead of when I joined social media, I know I'm a whole head, but I was just trying to keep in touch with my family that wasn't around me and my friends that weren't near me. And it slowly just turned into something that I don't recognize anymore. But I mean, I don't know. I'm I'm a fan, but I'm not. Just taste like pizza. Uh, <laughs> Mexican <Nice. laughs> <Nice> pizza. <laughs> I agree with that. That got deep really fast, though. It did. Really did. But I was just gonna say it's like gotten really crazy because, first of all, remember how I was saying in one of my videos how I was saying it was like causing PTSD. Oh yeah, it's a very valid point point. and I didn't really like elaborate on it and we did talk about it like last week or so I don't ever know like when the day we do it, but <laughs> she um, talked about it and What were you saying about it? I felt like the way the news portrays um, things that are happening around the world around our country now is they kind of take it and make it like it's reality TV. So they show you something or someone that's been killed several different times. And for people that look like us and that are like us, um, we watch a lot of our brothers and sisters being shot and murdered. And it does make you nervous. Like when you walk the streets and you go outside, it does make you scared. And when you get pulled over by the police, which we had an encounter like two months ago, and it does make yeah. you scared because- She called me right after it happened. Yeah, because- <laughs> The police officer himself looked kind of nervous and I hear that from the way things have been going, not here, but um, the way things have been going lately, they get nervous so, you know, very easily and then that's when they be pulling out their weapons and shooting people that look like us. So it does make you nervous because, you know, obviously not every person's like that, not everybody's like that and every encounter that I've ever had hasn't been like <laughs> bad but you never know and it does make me nervous for when those times come and it makes you feel some type of way on the inside you automatically get scared and you think about Philandra Castile, Trayvon Martins and all kinds of other people that they're actually Sorry. They're actually making like a um, documentary about Trayvon Martin and I'm not gonna watch it but I saw it on like they were like displaying it on TV at McDonald's and they're like trying to advertise it and stuff and I was like okay wow um 
I don't know if I'm gonna watch. A lot of that stuff is heartbreaking to me. Even watching the news makes me like very emotional. So I don't know. I really don't know at this point, honestly. We're off a movie right here. Does that make a difference? No. Okay. <laughs> the okay. Yeah. <laughs> Also, like a lot of transgender people of color don't even get noticed on the news and they be getting shot as well because of how they live their lives. And I don't feel like a lot of people talk about it. I would see these people and they're like, oh, they got like murdered in their homes. How though? Like, they're not even bothering anyone and then they're just people that are out there are just like, I'm just gonna ruin your life just because I don't like the way you dress or the way you look. So. Yeah, it does create PTSD and people that feel like they're being targeted by a certain group of people, whether they be police officers or um, people of a particular group. So it does, you know, it does change things a lot. Yeah. Was it easy or hard to be a vegetarian? It went from like <laughs> deep to like, okay, this is smooth. Oh yeah, I like this one. <laughs> It was hard. Both of us are vegetarian, by the way. And um, yeah, it was hard because like we were craving like, I was craving chicken nuggets. I was craving meat. Yeah, she <laughs> wanted like wings and things. And I wanted like chicken nuggets from McDonald's because I used to eat that every so often. Like whenever I you- I brought my own cup, y'all. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> um, because like I used to eat that and her and my old neighbor used to go to McDonald's a lot and I would just want that. Even though it's not good and I don't even know how it's made. Or Hi Iris if you're watching, love you, miss you. Oh. <laughs> um, so yeah. <clears throat> the next question is, oh did you want to answer or did you? Uh, pretty much, yeah. It's hard. And some days it still is hard, and let me tell you. So, yeah. yeah, it's definitely, you know, it's hard. But you find things that kind of taste like it. Like, we made cauliflower wings, and they do remind you of uh, wings. I haven't. We did find, like, the chicken nuggets with a K. And <laughs> yeah, they're good, though. Yeah, she liked those, and then they had the spicy patty one, you know. So, you do find things that you can substitute. That's Make like it the work. spicy chicken from McDonald's or something. She's obsessed with McDonald's. It's right down the street, as a matter of fact. She There's two. She's here. wanting to go every day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, who are your favorite YouTubers and why? My mom watches a lot of YouTubers. So, I'm going to look up mine. <laughs> mine? I like living with the web. She's so real and she's so authentic. So, I really like her. Um, I was a big fan of Life with the Kiss. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> uh, them too, and I watched the Davis family. Dude, they're so bad over here. She needs to look hers up. <laughs> okay, well, I think I have it by heart. Okay, Sophie Love XO. She is very underrated, and I really like her content. She doesn't post a lot, but I do like her content. She's like really, she has like maybe like 5,000 subscribers, and I'm like a year older than her. But she is pretty woke, and I like how she edits. And then the other one is Miles Manuel. He has like 1,000 followers, and he's pretty. <laughs> oh, he's pretty underrated too. Actually, actually, we're gonna be collabing soon, so that's pretty cool. Cause like everyone's kind of boring me right now, so that's probably gonna be so long. <laughs> it's already almost 10 minutes long. <laughs> uh, and we got to three questions. Thanks. Yeah. Do you look up do you look up to any celeb celebs? If so, why? I don't really look up to any celebrities. Do you look up to any celebrities? I don't look up to them per se, but I do admire celebrities like Michelle Obama. Yeah. For Colin Kaepernick, I really love him. Um he's out there doing things in the community. People Still. Love him. Yeah. Even after they uh, booted him out, I was like annoying when people were like, "Oh, like we're gonna stand on our knees or whatever." <laughs> what did he do? He was like on his knees, <laughs> and then why did you look like that? <laughs> Wait, how do you stand on your knees? You <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know. Like everyone was like doing it after they saw like why he was doing it and that he was getting a lot of recognition for it. 
and they're like, oh, let me make my kid do it or whatever. And I was kind of getting annoyed by that because if you're not really doing it, yeah, I can understand you being annoyed if you're just doing it for something that's trending. I don't like stuff like that. But if you're doing it because you're doing it in solidarity, I think that's a beautiful thing. I think people were doing it to be trendy and to be to well, be with the cause basically <laughs> yeah but i do look up to people lebron he is doing things for people you know uh children going to school and stuff i do enjoy all of the give back in the communities so akon oh too. yeah and he's he's been doing his thing for a minute so yeah but i don't really hear much about him anymore yeah well he's probably not publicizing what he does he just does it yeah and i enjoy people that do that too so <laughs> Are you willing to open any fan mail in the future? I mean, yeah, I guess. I mean, it seems really cool. I just watched a video of someone opening their fan mail, and it was like literally 30 minutes long. It was somehow Ooh. super entertaining. It seems really fun, but I'm not big enough to do that, so. You never know. Got a P.O. box. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't even call, um, name one of my, um, videos i made a p.o box <laughs> i don't know what you say after that but yeah, yeah. <laughs> she ain't even been to the p.o box okay <laughs> it's super far first of all 20 minutes well actually 15. Yeah. if it's not around the corner it's super far to her yeah this isn't a question but you make really good videos keep it up thank you What's your favorite and least favorite thing about being a small YouTuber? I feel like I already answered that mm -hmm. in a video. The other video. Yeah, I think I did. Okay. <laughs> would you ever post, would you ever change your posting schedule to more or less times a week? I don't really want to post more. I want her more. to do more. She wants me to be a daily vlogger. I do want her to be a daily vlogger. I don't want to. It's the thing, cause like I watched this other girl that was like the same age as me and she daily vlogged for a week and she put too much pressure on herself and she was posting mostly at eight o'clock at night and she's like i can't do this anymore and then she made a video on why she stopped daily vlogging because it was like too much pressure for herself so i was like no you don't know until you try that's somebody else's experience yeah but i already put too much pressure on myself so like even when i don't post at 12 i start getting anxiety she does she, does. Like, she said, oh shoot, it's 12. Yeah, today. <laughs> yeah. I was like applying for college and I was like, oh my god, it's 12.09. <laughs> so, yeah. I would probably, I like the schedule that I have and she actually made it up for me. So, I like the schedule that I have. It's pretty, it's fine. I think she should do a week of daily vlogging just to see what it's like. My life is boring. I don't know I mean, too many interesting YouTubers. I mean, I feel like they are living their life just the same way that we do. Yeah, but she watches YouTubers that go to Walmart every two seconds. I do, I do. <laughs> I watch moms and moms do that. They go grocery shopping for their families. And I watch like, moms too and I'm not even a mom. Yeah, <laughs> I know, I watch moms do mom things. But what I'm saying is a lot of YouTubers are not living like these extravagant lives i know the people that have like millions of followers are out there jet setting and doing things but i feel like smaller youtubers live regular lives just like everyone else mm -hmm. um what advice would you give to new vloggers based on what you learned so far first of all i have this tip for when especially vlogging in public um take your mom i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bring someone that you're comfortable with so you feel less awkward and um, also pretend that no one's around you but like the person you're with and just pretend you're at home or something and then just do whatever because that's what I've been doing for a while now because I've been vlogging ever since I've been in Texas really. And yeah, that's pretty much all. I mean, it's just kind of like you don't have to have an expensive camera. Like everyone's like, I need a Canon G7X because every other YouTuber has it. No, you don't. But it's she just... got it, but she had it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I have it. I'm using it right now. Shout out Grandma and Grandpa. <laughs> that's my Grandma and Grandpa. I know. I still call it Grandma and Grandpa. She does. <laughs> Those are her parents. <laughs> I um, do that on behalf of them. <laughs> yeah. Um. You can use your phone because I use my phone for vlogging too. She wants to start vlogging. We did find this camera at Target that was like what $200? Very, very inexpensive. 
expensive. I like that. Yeah, it doesn't have a flip screen, but it's a really good quality <laughs> thing. I know she wants a flip screen thing too. I don't know if I do. I it's know. gonna be harder without it. Yeah, because you're not gonna be able to see if you're in focus or not. Oh. Well, maybe I should save out for something that's have one then. I think you should start out with that and see how you like it. Oh, spending money is fine. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Just with that one. Okay. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> Do you have any unpopular opinions? If so, what are they? Well, I have some. Okay, one of them is organic Oreos is better than regular Oreos. And I said that, I'm saying that because like, I tried these organic Oreos when my mom bought, like when we were still living in California. And they tasted way better than name brand Oreos. And well, so I have like a list of unpopular opinions. Oh, mm -hmm. pineapple and pizza is great. Yeah. And brown sugar pop tarts are the best pop tarts. They are. Yeah. Come at me, bro. They and pudding. Are. I don't like pudding. But it's not the greatest. So that is unpopular. Growing up, I loved pudding. I hated all the flavors. I think I only liked like butterscotch. I think, but that was like it. And I don't like the first Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, where is it? Uh, do you have any unpopular opinions? I don't know. I never thought about it. I don't really think about it like on a regular. <laughs> they're just my opinions. They're popular to me because they're mine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what are your favorite snacks? Um, I really like tuna and crackers with relish and mayo, and then I like cheese. It's a lot. Anything with sugar in it, she'll like it. Yeah, Dots, Swedish fish. Um, those are all the candies that everyone hates, by the way. <laughs> in, in our household, I don't know about others. People hate Swedish fish all the time. I don't know why. <laughs> But you. This looks bomb. I want to. Um, I'm really on baby root tough right now. It's tough. So that's what I want all the time. This is like a little spicy. Uh, the rice. Is it? Like it barely, it has like a little kick, but not really. Um, I don't taste it. Probably because I'm eating this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Try it. Just try it. Is it like super hot? No. It's like normal. Get a pepper and an onion. Yep. Yeah. I don't like it. Really? No. I don't know what's wrong with you. They're really spicy though. Super addicting. I don't know. It's just either jalapeno and onion. Do you plan on doing college vlogs after you start? Yes. Because I want to vlog as much as I can. This is really spicy. Oh my god. Um. <laughs> but yeah, I enjoy vlogging. So I have to force her. I don't know why how she say she. She vlogs a lot. I mean, wait, what? <laughs> she, tells she tells me to vlog a lot. I do. You're gonna look back at this one day pre-children and see your life so it's gonna be cool yeah. <laughs> what are your three favorite hair products at the moment this can be a question for both of us you can go first um right now i'm using rose water mixture and vitamin e oil hmm. and some i think it's africa best coconut oil because it's really really dry out her in these streets so <laughs> i have to like moisture up a lot more with my low porosity hair my so. grandpa was the only one with high porosity hair did you do nate's no i didn't oh no i think we did get something in nate's so now if you're watching let too. me uh, <laughs> please get back if we do it or not <laughs> <laughs> uh so yeah, I have to moisturize a lot more, but you know, with locks, it's very low maintenance, and um, I just gotta find that right blend I'm looking for it for Texas. Did you put it in a spray bottle? I did a glass spray bottle. 
Yeah, I love her glass bottles better. <laughs> um, what was that orange bottle that we just got from Walmart? That was like five dollars. Orange bottle? Yeah, it was from my hair. I don't know. She from Target or Walmart? It was Walmart. I don't know. She picks up hair products every time we go. I can't use them because they cause residue in my hair. So I don't even look at them. Yeah. She don't be looking out for me. <laughs> um, I think it's my cream of nature and it's like this mango and shea butter leave-in conditioner. So far, I really like it. And this pineapple curls by Pacifica. It's a conditioner. It says for all hair ties, but it specifically says curling defining conditioner. So I was kind of like confused on that. She has curly hair, it don't matter. She's yeah. fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then this As I Am Coconut Co Wash. I really like that because it actually like keeps my hair defined and moisturized for the rest of the day. So I think I'm just gonna use that for conditioner from now on. I thought I dropped something on my shirt. <laughs> what? It's a shadow, but I thought something dropped on me. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> What is your favorite type of video to make? I feel like I answered that. But I like vlogs because it's better and you can just show what you're doing and just be yourself. I agree. And then well, we have two more questions. <laughs> what areas do you shine in? What areas do you feel you need to improve on? Hmm. I don't know. I don't really know. I mean, obviously you can always improve in your life. And I think my area I need to improve on is my patience. I'm yeah. really bad with that. Um, I get really annoyed easily and I feel yeah. like I need to work on that. Yeah, so I feel like I need to improve on my patience because um, <laughs> 23 minutes. <laughs> it's definitely an area where I, I, your girl doesn't have any. Yeah. I think that's mostly the annoying thing. Um, how do you get over your fear of vlogging in public? Just I force her. her. Yeah, I get peer pressured a lot to vlog. I force her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, also, like I said before, pretend no one's there. Because it really does help. Because I see a lot of people are like, oh my god, it's so awkward. But like... Maybe vlogging in malls, and it is awkward because there's like people everywhere. But everyone's gonna stare at you regardless, so just do what you want to do. And that's. Do you want to do anything else? Do you? No. <laughs> well, I think she did really good considering it's her first time doing something like this. I usually have to force her. I'm cutting her off. <laughs> well, that face. Yeah. But this is pretty much the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Give it a like because this was pretty hard for me to make because we have awkward. And yeah, do you have anything to say? Thank you guys for watching. We enjoyed sharing this with you and answering questions. It was pretty cool. Yeah, I'll give it like a seven for not having enough on the video for me. <laughs> okay, see you next time. Bye. <laughs>